How to make your own unique avatar in Canva. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can easily make your own avatar using Canva. What you want to do is go on Google and search for Media Cartoonizer and click into this website. In here you can drag or upload a photo of yourself or whoever you want to turn into a cartoon character. I'm going to just download a picture from online. Um, you can use any photo that shows clearly the face and then uh, you will be able to see that there are loads of options loads of different styles that you can choose you can test each one out if the photo doesn't work out you can always choose another one um, the cartoon that they will have uh, the background will be similar to the one on the original photo so in here you want to log in you can't see me logging in because of security reasons but uh it is actually okay for you to not log in i believe and just continue then what you want to do is just apply the, the the style that you want into the photo that you have uploaded the processing time is actually quite short um, you can always test out different ones and download whichever ones or every one that you like. So here is the kawaii version of the photo. And each style you can actually choose facial expressions. So uh, you can, in here I'm going for happy, uh, for individual styles they all have different expressions some works better than the other this is the disney happy version of the the photo that i have uploaded as you can see you can uh there's actually a little uh watermark in the end this picture is actually quite funny i quite like it but i didn't use this in the end uh back into the watermark topic um it is only here if you don't download it and screenshot it if you download the picture which is also free completely free uh you will be able to remove like the watermark is not going to be in the downloaded photo in the downloaded image so don't worry about the massive watermark this is the barbie version of the of the photo I've, i have uploaded you can always try them all out and choose the one uh, that you like the most and it is interesting sometimes seeing how different faces the AI will change uh, with the more masculine styles on a feminine figure or the other way around look at this one this one is not exactly the best or the most successful one but if at uh, angry faces may be the more difficult one to get right but uh, for happier faces it should be generally fine now, once you have tested out uh, the styles, you can go back into the one that you like the most. For me, I'm going to go for the kawaii version. And I'm going to go into the top right corner and download the image. Once again, it is free, so don't worry about it. After you have downloaded the avatar, you can go onto the Canva website. So in here, in the home page, you would want to search video and then you want to find um, the, in here, you can actually, after loading, you can actually see a lot of templates. You can always work with the templates uh, and incorporate your avatar in that, but we can look at those later as well. So you want to create a blank video and scroll down on the left to apps. In there, you want to search for an app. You want to search DID and look for this uh, app, the DID AI blah blah blah. Click onto that icon, and this is the app that we are gonna work with. Now, what you want to do is sign up or sign in. Without signing in, you won't have the credits to create the avatar, the presenter. So you want to sign in. Again, it is free. When you sign in, there will be 20 credits um, and each presenter, each avatar, each video that you make uh, will use up one credit. You can always uh, create a new account when you, a new account for this, 
for this application, it is not necessarily a new account for Canva. It's just a new account for this application and get more credits. Now, once you have logged in, you want to upload your avatar into this application into Canva. However, remember not to just drag the photo to the uh, black box on the left because uh, if you do this, it will only upload it on Canva and not the application itself. So what you want to do is go onto the app and click onto the upload button and upload it there directly and not drag it. Even if you drag it to the upload space, it will just also just upload it on Canva. So don't do that. Um, so after you, after you have uploaded your photo, you can click on the avatar and you can work on what the avatar is saying. You scroll down and you can type what the what you want the avatar wants to say. You can also upload your own audio, which is really good as well because it will match your voice and um, the lips will also uh, sense what you're saying and will match the lips with the words that you're saying. Uh, when you're done typing, you can also choose the language, choose the voice and preview the speech. There are lots of languages uh, from you, even for English that UK, US, Canada, Australia, a ton of options. Hi, you can create your own avatar like this. So here we go. You can also choose different voices. Hi, you can create your own avatar like this. And also different styles, so you can choose it to be cheerful or serious. There are a lot for you to test out and have fun with. For some reason, uh, the screen is not recording the style. Hi, you can create your own avatar like this. But as you can see, uh, there are a lot of things that you can preview and test out before you actually spend that one credit to create the avatar. Again, if you just upload your own audio, it will be more realistic. But uh, if you want to make other ones and and uh, yeah, there are also a lot of uh, there are also male and female voices. So don't worry about that. I've already used up one, so I've only tw uh, 19 credit left, uh, but each avatar needs one credit only. So it is actually quite, quite nice, quite fine. So after you have done it, you will want to, you have cho chosen your voices and stuff you would want to create, generate your avatar. It may take a little while. It usually doesn't take that long, depending on how long your audio is and your speech is. So after you have done that, you will Hi. Be able to see that on the You left can create your own avatar screen, like this. And you can do all the editing that you want. Uh, you can make it larger. You can also click onto the background and choose the color. As you can see, the duration of the video is going to be how long uh, the speech is. So if you want to add other things, you can also always use the Canva tools to add filters or add other effects, add the elements and use the positioning to change the background colors or the elements where you want to put them, the layers of the elements. Here, I'm going to just change the background color. Uh, you can always use the dropper tool and select the background color of the picture. Uh, you can also go into background on the left and uh, there are a lot of pre-made photos that you can choose as the background as well. If you have Canva Pro, you can remove the background of the original photo to add more flexibility in your creation. And once you have finished, you can click on the top right, click share and download. Now the end product does have watermark all over it, but if it is on a lighter background, it is not exactly the most obvious. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hi. You can create your own avatar like this.